<laughs> well then. Okay, then. Um. Um. Yes. Okay? Are you sure you don't mind or anything? I mean, um, I'm glad you're willing to, uh, but... Uh, oh, right. I, I'm not very good at talking to boys. There are a lot of guys in the student council, though, so I should work on that. School is almost out. Let's go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about uh, what to say. I was trying to come up with a topic you might be interested in, Senpai, but I couldn't think of anything. This is your Todai dorm, right? Do you live here? My house is in the other direction. No, it's not your fault. I noticed we were going in the wrong direction. I should have spoken up. Um, I know you took time out of your schedule just for me, so thank you very much for today. Yeah. 
our next topic. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to... I've been waiting for you. Oh my! An encounter with one of your world's exquisite treasures. Right out of the blue. So this is the fountain. It makes sport of water, a precious resource, and the very foundation of life. Such a sinful form of art. I've heard of its mystical powers, wherein those who offer coin may have their wishes granted. Then I must try my hand at this. Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a hefty sum of coin. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. I shall make an opening bid of 1 million yen. Oh! I was so caught up in the excitement that I started tossing coins without giving my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. What is this facility here? I see there's a gentleman inside with quite a stern face. And these photographs displayed so prominently. Most wanted. Reward? Hmm. Would it be correct to presume that these are your version of my subjugation requests? I see. So the target must be captured alive. I shall keep that in mind. This edifice over here, is this what you call a club? Dancers dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden flourishing with uninhibited desires. <gasps> oh no! It's closed right now? Oh, what a pity! I had hoped to become part of the scene. was quite satisfying, but I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. If you don't mind, could you perhaps recommend our next activity? This arcade 
Arcade. I have heard of it before. If I am not mistaken, it is a playground where one sports with electronic fairies in exchange for tokens. They may also have games where one controls a crane's claw to win prizes. I'm eager to see it in action. <gasps> uh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? I hadn't noticed there was a fountain on this side as well. Oh, yet another fountain. On the opposite side, I see. So this place plays host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Hmm, this mechanism. Am I correct to assume that I ought to punch this area with all my strength? for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission a complete success. This may sound forward, but I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. A shame. Marvelous. Very well. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. There's something I want to take care of before I go home. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. You're probably busy all the time, too. Try taking a break once in a while. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. Um, a man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well, a TV anchorwoman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. Seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together? Welcome back. Hey, listen.
ぜ。Go shopping. If you say so. But um, thank you. I was so busy searching through the books. I I'm sorry if I ignored you. Um, I'm sorry it took so long. This place has so many interesting books. I was having a bit of trouble deciding. Um, do you read much, Senpai? Really? I, um, didn't think you'd be into that kind of thing. The classics aren't very entertaining, but I can respect what the authors are trying to accomplish. Oh, I'm sorry. This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. The shop owners probably wouldn't want us standing here either. Um, hey, Senpai, is it boring for you to hang around with, um, someone like me? What a relief. I've been so worried about that this entire time. Oh, um, well, t today I was able to, um, say what was on my mind to you. I want to stop being so afraid of everything. I want to be able to talk to other people. My homeroom teacher, Mr. Taka Nozuka, he gives me a lot of class-related tasks. But I'm always so scared that all I can do is not... It's not much of a story, but my dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore. I can still remember the face he made when he got mad. So whenever I see a man now, all I can think of is that face. Oh, no. I'm really happy that you care. Thank you.
So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job uncovering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho-senpai. I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sonata-senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you. So if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay. Really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, We'll be ready to get in the ring. Morning. Hey, did 
you hear? Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet, she can hear you! Oh, Fuka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you. Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Amiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Amiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. I didn't mean to hit a nerve. Come on, don't worry. We're still gonna hang out, all right? Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy, too. And hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. I only told you because I trust you. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now.
you've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before about everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers change quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Name? Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is... Pharaohs. I know we'll get along great. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the death archive. Well, it's getting late, so I'm going now. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye-bye. morning. This is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Special? Does that mean we can expect something good? I don't know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. Marvelous! I'm looking forward to it! Are you accepting a request? Oh my! You've... You have my thanks! Who's not even good at math? 
Doesn't that sound pathetic? They never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, uh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. Do they not know where they are? That's right! I agree! This is supposed to be a place of learning! And they're still just kids. So I say this, as a member of the student council. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school! We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. I didn't notice the time. Um, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. Yamagishi-san, are you in there? Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo-senpai is strong, too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. Uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on. I think akutsuki sounds gonna be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you, Yukari-chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. 
Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. We can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. Combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of theurgy. Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions. And when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that, it's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. Hold on. Isn't it dangerous to use something like this without knowing how it works? Oh, don't worry about that. It's been well tested and determined completely safe. Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seize is going to have a new lineup after today. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay, I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. And there he goes. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like airless. It's fine. You should just give it a go like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? Man, this trump card stuff is getting me so pumped up! I'm gonna be all like, take this! Super Ace Junpei Attack! Or something like that. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right, we'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. <laughs> Could you at least wear it like you're supposed to? Oh, 
But it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. They were testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration, either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm... What else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your... theurgy? Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Wait! I wanna go too! I was so ready for this! You can't just put me on standby! We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Oh! Really? When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay. Got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. We have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So, the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely explained anything, though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom-made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. <laughs> 